Well, which is it? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to slaw it up today. <laughs> coleslaw, coleslaw, and coleslaw. Those are all ways that that has been spelled. And you know, when I was researching the subject of it, I've discovered that there are even two spellings of the correct spelling. Oh, really? Which is single some, word, C-O-L-E. Right. Some yeah. books call it coleslaw, one word, C-O-L-E-S-L-A-W, and others have it as two words. And then, of course, you know, there are many sleazy uh, places that we've been any numerous times, and s since we're both famous <laughs> for going in sleazy places at the drop of a hat or uh -huh. other garments, uh, the, uh, we've seen cold slaw <laughs> and cold slaw. That's my favorite because it's very difficult to eat, Yeah, especially if you're on strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, real bad. So anyway, we're going to have coleslaw and lots of, and a special guest. Yes, and a, and a Peggy very special guest. Yeah, here. she's here. Yeah, Peggy Garden here. City. Now, all of you've heard of her, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. And if you haven't, you will by the time this program's over. Well, let's get to them. Oh yeah, Garden City. Yeah, Garden City. Yeah, oh, coleslaw. Right. Yeah. Hey, look at this new guest uh, on the show. This is Peggy. <clears throat> no, no, that, no, no, that's, that's a, not Peggy. That's, that's a lifelike representation of Harold Ford that Doris brought in today. <laughs> You're right, it is. Harold Poe. It's got it. his eyes. Mr. Oh. Cabbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this. This is wonderful. And you know, the great thing about this is you can just throw it in a pot and you got uh, uh, some kind of stew. Yes, I'm not sure uh, what. Of course, the toothpicks and, are a little rough. And but, you'll have uh, pot liquor when it's over. <laughs> oh, it's just lovely. Looks like somebody I know. Oh, <laughs> somebody you know, too. Yeah. Anyway, well, yeah, well, we won't mention any names here. <laughs> Dear guys, I heard you wanted to know where Nicholsville is. Uh -huh. It's around Gate City and Castlewood. So there. <laughs> and Castlewood. that's real important if you live in Arkansas it's, and a few uh, other places. You'll know exactly where those. Down near Coburn, Virginia, I believe. That's down in the coal field. Coal fields. It is one of these towns that you start at one end and less than five minutes you're out of town. <laughs> I would like to know what day you do tape your show. I watch you on Saturday, and if I came to the studio, would I see the show that is seen on my channel? <laughs> could you answer that question? No, I you really don't know. Because we tape be a little bit ahead. Oh, you know, I see. So you wouldn't see the same one you're going to see that night. Please tell that lady that complains about your clinus clen right. on the show to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> well, I didn't. I just write these. I mean, I didn't write. I didn't write these. I just read, you read them. <laughs> now everybody will now think everybody it's a phony letter. letter. It's a really. No, it, it really it came in. A, see, it's there stamped it and right. then it must well, be opened by than, Larry Bly or Laban Johnson. It says right on the end of it. Oh, see. Well, now this wait a minute. longer than Gone with the Wind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says, uh, how about having fried chicken? My grandmother on my dad's side can't. I would appreciate it. <laughs> she can't. I'm sorry, fry she chicken. can't. Oh, 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 fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, sure. we've done yeah. some fried chicken. And thank you. That's from a loyal viewer down in Coburn, Virginia. Thank and, you very much. And we want to thank uh, Kathleen Brown from Dade City, Florida, who wrote to us and gave us this piece of information that I think is really important. Uh oh. She said, "Keep up the cooking cheap." Groceries are not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so we all need to get all the help we can get. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Kathleen, thank you. We know they're not cheap. We go to the store, too. Do you think they give us money for this food? No, mm -hmm. no. We no. have to have a bake sale about once a month in order to afford to do this show. That's true. That's true. It's terrible. Well, we have so many things going today. That yes, we Larry, we literally do. have to get over to the old cook and cheap set. Well, I'm here already. They've moved me. I used to walk all the way over there. But today, <laughs> it's such a small set. Oh, hi. My better side, too, huh? But anyway, well, we I don't to... know whether it's your better side. Or... Let me see. No, it's well, not I have actually. trimmed down a little since the show started. He called me fat so, so long that, uh, anyway, we want to welcome to our program the very lovely and semi voluptuous Peggy Montgomery. Let's hear Peggy. Peggy. Here she is. Peggy, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's nice to be here. You just look lovely, and I know that you're excited about being on our show today. Well, that's not her. <laughs> <laughs> I said you look lovely, and they showed me. Well, I look lovely, too. There yes. she is. Which one of us is Peggy? <laughs> and, I, and herein hangs the tale. Tell how she went about. Peggy bought us on TV. She bought her way on the program. Yeah. Now, I know a lot of she people paid think big money <laughs> this for public television. <laughs> Laban and I have been trying to buy our way off this show for <laughs> years. But, but uh, all of you know, wherever you're watching this show, that your public television station at some time or another has to raise money. 
with an well, auction right. sometime. And so this station had an auction last year, and Peggy paid top dollar to get an appearance on this show. Big box. So Big here box. she is, and she said that she was going to do, we were going to do salads today, so she said she was going to do coleslaw. Ah. And I thought, well, there's so many kinds of coleslaw that we will do coleslaw too. So we're all doing coleslaw. So we're all doing coleslaw, but there are three different kinds, and I think we ought to let Peggy We're going to have go a ahead. big coal off here. Right. Whatever that is. So means. Peggy, you go on and show us what you're doing, and okay. maybe while you're doing it, we'll do some things over here to get ready for our cold slaw when and, it comes. And Peggy, talk a lot because we want you to get your money's worth. Okay, right. thank you. This is a, a simple recipe that uh, I picked up when I was still living in Maryland, uh, in Baltimore, at a friend's house. And it doesn't take any time to make, and it calls for six cups of coleslaw and green onions. Your time's up, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. You know, I was born in Baltimore. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That well, yeah, I've heard. I've heard that you were. Place of my nativity. And Daddy came from Sharpsburg. You know where Sharpsburg is? No, I don't. It's know. near no, Hagerstown. Come from Sharpsburg. No, oh, no, mine did. From Sharpsburg. All right. Go ahead, Peggy. Don't let us interrupt you. Okay. Well, Time's all up. <laughs> all, <laughs> all I'm doing right now is shredding the coleslaw. And if you would like, you could use. Some your help. blender or anything, but <laughs> I, I like to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> and also in this recipe, it calls for the slaw and the onions to sit at least three or four hours, and the dressing needs to sit overnight. Does it matter where it sits in particular? Uh, well, I wouldn't want to leave it in the summertime out on the back porch, so oh, okay. I'd <laughs> set it in the refrigerator. <laughs> Hey, you know, she keeps that up. I guess uh, maybe I'm off the show. Yeah, that's right. There's been a lot of talk about <laughs> but that. But then anyway. there might be some talk about you being off, too. <laughs> anyway, so go ahead, So, of course, Peggy. I made this last night, so there is some in the refrigerator that uh, is the consistency that you would like to have it. Huh? <laughs> Just, just go right ahead, Peggy. Now, it's all yours. Now, when you make yours at home, Peggy, what do you do? Do you use the blender or a food processor, or do you do it this way? Well, I've never used the blender for it. I've always just done it by hand, but um, my husband and my two daughters got me a KitchenAid for Christmas, so ah. I tried the KitchenAid yesterday, and it works really nice. It makes it a lot faster, and the uh -huh. consistency is, is uh, equal. You don't have any big pieces or little pieces. Well, now I'm doing mine up the old fogey way. This is the way I was taught to do it at home. And what I'm doing is I'm just same old, just grating. If I grate on you all, let me know, all right? And I'll stop. <laughs> but I'm going to grate up about a pound for mine. And that's about all I'm going to do for the next 20 minutes or so. Well, Doris, I need some pepper, too. Now what are you doing, Peggy? Now I'm getting ready to do the green onions. And it calls for one cup of finely chopped green onions. <laughs> Who was that unidentified flying woman? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally happened. She has taken over the program. She's determined she's going to get on the show. <laughs> that means we got to pay her union scale. That's terrible. What? Yes, <laughs> and we don't even make that. <laughs> In other words, get your own, Johnson. <laughs> Oh, well, Peggy is uh, going to town on those onions over there. And Laban's going to town on the closet over there. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to go to town because I'm tired of all this. Well, I can't of, believe it. I can't find the pepper. Uh -oh. Here it is. Here it is. The spice oh, of life has been that... lost on the cooking sheep set. <laughs> well, we run out of pepper here, Peggy. We're in big trouble on this yeah, show because both all of us love pepper. You like pepper? Yes, I do. You know, I have a little theory about pepper. Have you ever heard my theory on pepper? I've, I've gone on about it on television before. I say that a lot of people die of too much salt, but I don't know if anybody that ever dies of too, too much, much pepper. pepper. You're right. Now, wait a minute. I can't believe this. There's no salt and there's no pepper. Well, Surely some fool has not robbed us of our spices. Oh, my, Maybe my. they just keep going. Just don't keep don't going. let me Look intrude. Well, Maybe they're here in the refrigerator. Now you've just added those. How many? How many of those uh, onions do you have to, to cut up in that? It says a cup, well, but song. I'll tell you, I don't ever really follow here a recipe. I just cut and put in until I think it looks good for my family. Yeah, yeah. Oh, suppose well, they don't ever like the looks of it. You just keep cutting. I mean, and chopping and. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> now, Larry, I, I, while I got my pepper, I, you Boy, have you to pepper your slaw, <laughs> your cabbage. Mm. Yeah, I think you did. People are whistling. I don't know whether it's because we're so gosh darn pretty or whether they think you used a lot of... <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. What are you drinking? i got to do something. Oh, I was drinking this Russian uh, dressing. We're just continuing on over in our well, corner. Well, you He's know, part of, part of doing coleslaw right. is you got to chop Takes cabbage forever. for half of your adult life. That's right. Laban was Except only 12 years old when he started on this cabbage head, <laughs> and uh, I'm still going at it, too. And so is Peggy, so? we might add. <laughs> what next, Peggy? Well, once I get all the onions in, then I'm going to start on the dressing. That Peggy really knows her onions. Yeah, I sure do. An old term around our place. Mm. Well, look and at that. Look at, and look, at that diamond ring sparkles so well, too. Mm. This diamond ring doesn't shine anymore. <laughs> you guys are good Gary on Lewis and the Playboy. Mm -hmm. Gary Lewis and the Plowboys. Well, we're just all cutting and chopping oh, and grinning and what have you. Boy, this is going to be a coarse slaw. I, I'm going to add in some secret stuff here after a while, and I'll let you know about that. I, too, have to go and take some some spring onions and chop them all up and put them in this also, and that's what I'm going to be doing next. Okay, all Peggy. Right. Okay. Oh, I got the purple hand. Purple hand around my head. Well, you're in a singing mood uh, yes, today. Yes, I'm afraid it'll be around my throat if I'm not careful. Well, I am thirsty as I can be, and I forgot to get a drink. Now, i got to take some onions now and chop them up just like she was doing a few minutes ago. A little spring onions. You're going to chop those in this thing, too. And I'm just not going to do a whole pound of this because, I'll be honest with you, I'm just real tired of it. What are you looking for? I was looking for the for the notes. <laughs> I'm so afraid to throw anything away over here. I'm afraid I'll throw this in his face. Ah! <laughs> See what I mean? So I gotta walk around here. What well, goes in that next now, Peggy? Or, okay, or Laban, now it's time for the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise. The mayonnaise. The Mayo. secret mayonnaise. The secret mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. How much? Oh, oh look, she's got one of those that's hermetically, hermetically sealed, sealed for our protection. So you know it's fresh. Well, we wouldn't want you to give us any bad mayonnaise right. in this program. Right. <laughs> Goodness knows. Okay, what I'm going to do now is put in, by my <laughs> judgment, two cups of mayonnaise. It's a right neat looking spatula you, like you got that? there. My dishwasher ate it, so it's got a its own little. Oh, oh it so does. It your, has sort of a mole on the side and of it. it. You know, it's, the thumb fits in there real good, so it's an extra <laughs> handle. It's. Uh, I got one of those in the back of my head, but it didn't come from the dishwasher. So you're going to put two of those in there? Mm-hmm. Ooh, you know that's got to be good. Well, once it sits overnight, it gets real creamy, and you'll see that once we pull the one out of the refrigerator that's been sitting since last night. Johnson, what are you Got up it. to? Well, I have just minced uh, three cloves of garlic, and now I'm, and I've put it in a pan, and now I'm adding a tablespoon of ground carrot to my pan over here that I'm going to set on fire here in a few minutes. Well, I've gone fairly back on these sprang onions, and now I've gotten a nice little dab of them, and I'm going to take those and throw them into my, my cabbage, which has all been chopped up very fine, I actually grated up. And now I'm going to start Julianne. Julianne took, took the command hand of, of a, a poor, poor man, <laughs> ain't true love, such a funny right. thing. Yeah, we all know. Anyway, I, this is the way I'm doing my Julianne today, just the way I did it. I learned this at Booker T. Washington's place because I didn't have anything Julianne uh -huh. these, and I'm going to do it this way, ladies and gentlemen. It's a fast way to do it. It does go everywhere, and I hope I don't throw any over there on you, Peggy. But if I do, just yell and throw oh, it Oh, no, wait a minute. Peggy's adding some, some secret ingredients uh -oh. to her. Secret small. ingredients. Secret we caught ingredients. you. What is okay, it? Okay, what I've added is two tablespoons and a pinch of sugar. Oh. And two tablespoons and I a pinch. I thought maybe you were after that cameraman. No, uh-uh. <laughs> and, well, as I said, two tablespoons and a pinch of vinegar. How do you do a pinch of vinegar? You I just, mean, is it a little tough to keep it between your fingers? Well, it's kind of hard, but, you know, you just kind of, <laughs> it, it, it works. Uh. Now I'm going to add about a quarter of a 
maybe half a teaspoon of celery seed. And there they go. While she's doing that, I'm oh. going to take an ordinary green pepper and I'm going to open that thing up and I'm going to shred that pepper in here, a whole green pepper. I'm just going to pull the insides of it out. I hope it don't gross anybody out. And this is not the easiest thing to do, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> you thought it couldn't be done. It can. I'm just grating a whole pepper in there as best I can because I don't want to have to chop it up so grate it. And it's going in there and it's real pretty. This is a beautiful, beautiful dish with all these colors. And and in a couple of minutes, I'm going to add just a little bit of turnip to it. About a tablespoonful of turnip is going to go in there. We've got the, uh, we've got the, all sorts of things. I've got a big turnip. I want you to look at this turnip. Isn't this a strange oh, thing? Oh, it don't favor seen? nobody. Well, it's got wax all. It's so waxy. <laughs> it's got wax all over waxy. the outside of it. So what I'm going to do is chop some of that wax off the outside, trim it off, and then we'll... We'll take a little of this and grate it in there, about a tablespoonful, and that'll be... Is that a turnip or a rutabaga? Well, I don't know. I think, I think you got a rutabaga. <laughs> oh, no, don't oh, tell me that. Oh, you do? Oh, I can't believe it. He well, grew up on a farm, it. and he doesn't know a rutabaga from a turnip. I think it's a turnip. I think it's a turnip. I think it's a turnip. I didn't think that looked right when I saw it either. That's a rutabaga. Well, we're going to take one tablespoon of rutabaga, <laughs> and we're going to put that in there. <laughs> See if I care. Right. Rutabaga, turnip, they all look alike to me. I hate both of them, but, you know. Now, I've, <laughs> That's why it doesn't matter so much. I I'm guess. adding a half a cup of olive oil. Popeye was real upset about it, too. Yeah, well, I imagine so. He'd been going with it for some time. What are you doing over there, Peggy? I'm i got to keep you on camera as much. You're finished. All I need to do is put the dressing in here. See, I you're, told you it was simple and finished. quick. I don't think and I've, I've got to add a... a, a Tables or a half a cup of white wine vinegar. I, I see you signifying to me, and I, I got the message. I understand. This turnip don't look right. I'm going to chop up some <laughs> sweet gherkins. <laughs> I always think that's a funny word. Uh -huh. It always brings a lot of things to mind, the word gherkin. I don't know why, but right. I'm going to take that and chop that all up. The simple thing to do if you want to save a little time on that, of course, get the little cubed gherkins. And I'd have done that, except I thought I had a bunch of them in my refrigerator, and I didn't. Well, so I'm just going to chop up some ordinary sweet gherkins and go throw those in there. Just a few of them will do. Not an awful lot of necessary. And I'm just about finished with this entire recipe. Now, Larry, what I'm heating up my dressing, this is my garlic and my onion and my carrot and a half a cup of olive oil and a half a cup of white wine vinegar till it's fiery hot and boiling over here. And then, and this is what's so exciting about it, after it's hot and boiling, fiery hot, uh -oh. you uh -oh. add a can of anchovies. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that not those that. salty anchovies. Well, yes, that's, that's why you don't put any, Oh, yuck. You don't put any salt. Oh, hey, Peggy. I'm getting it from everywhere. The crew doesn't like it. Hey. I'm sorry. I love hey, anchovies. Hey, Peggy, how would you like to Thank work you. this? Doris you, likes anchovies. How would you like to work this gig starting next week? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to know something sad, Laban? Yeah. There were three other people with me when I bought that. Rutabaga. <laughs> they all thought it was a turnip. Oh, no. Well, it was all wrapped in wax. How would you ever know? I know what turnips look like normally. I know what red ones look like, but I don't know what white ones look like. I never raised one. Oh. Never ate one. Well, you know. They're good That's with cheese sauce. Are they really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, wonderful. I've never tried that. Well, now, I'm getting ready to add all these chopped pickles in here. I don't know how many. <laughs> Laban walked off with my recipe. <laughs> No, you walked off with it. No, it was laying over here. I, I laid know. it to the I had side. to go get it to see what I had to do. Well, that's mine. Oh, it's got well, my it's notes written on it. Percy Algernon on there. Who is that? Is that <laughs> somebody you know? Percy's going to appear next week <laughs> on the show. Let's right. make sure we got oh, everything. Right. Now, wait, we got to come back to Peggy. She's oh, messing around Oh, go ahead. Peggy's getting her. ready to put the secret ingredients in okay. it there. This is the point where when you're doing it at home, you want to put a lid on the dressing and stick it in the refrigerator. Just put a lid on it. And put a lid on your cabbage and onions and stick them in the refrigerator. You want to let the dressing sit overnight. I, that's what I normally do. Let the cabbage and onions sit overnight. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have it for the next night's dinner and then sure. in the morning, right. you put the dressing in with everything and let it sit Actually, all day. 
this slaw and Larry's all coleslaw needs to age at least a day mm -hmm. before you. All right, now my dressing has boiled. It is fiery hot. And now I've cut the heat off and I'm going to add to it my whole can of anchovies, including the oil. Ooh. Oh, it's a squeamish crowd today, boys and girls. Bunch of wussies. Scared, I've never heard of anything like this in my life. People, grown adults, afraid of a little fish. Not afraid of it, it's just too salty. I don't think it could be good for your heart. Oh, it's, they're <laughs> wonderful. They've got all that good stuff in it for your heart. Yeah? That, that monosaturated oil. Uh-huh. It's real good. Now, you just pour this right over down into your coleslaw. I know that's going to make me start eating it. <laughs> <laughs> and. Ooh, that smells a, so good, Laban. Now, you have to. Don't, don't throw them all over me, please. <laughs> you have to toss it real good. Oh, there's a right big piece of. Where did that piece of. Here's a whole piece of garlic that never got chopped up. How did that happen? Oh, the recipes. Oh, yeah, we've well, got to have the recipes. Well, well, all right. Coleslaw with garlic. All right. Well, you need one and a half to two pounds of cabbage. And today, just for, for variety, Doris told me I ought to use red cabbage, and that's what I'm doing. And you need a half a cup of white wine vinegar, pepper, two to four garlic cloves, mashed. I minced them. A tablespoon of grated carrot, a tablespoon of grated onion, <laughs> one half cup of olive oil, and eight anchovy fillets. Ooh. You'll find that it is good for you. Another coleslaw. One and a half to two pounds of shredded cabbage, a bunch of green onion shredded, green pepper shredded, quarter of a cup of chopped sweet pickle, two carrots julienne, tablespoon of grated turnip. Now don't you use a rutabaga now. One sixteen ounce bottle of Russian dressing. Mix it all up. Put it in overnight. All right. I'm going to add the secret ingredients. I'm going to add, uh, I made a half of a thing of this, so I'm not going to put a whole 16 in it. This is Russian dressing. Going to add that in, going to mix it all up. Put it in the, isn't that attractive, refridge overnight, which I already have one back there. And we'll get to taste it in just a couple of minutes. And that's about that. It's got a very good ring to it, doesn't it? Peggy, maybe you ought to run through your ingredients again. If you okay. Can run. You need six cups of shredded cabbage and a bunch of onions spring onions. You mix them together and put them in the refrigerator. And for the dressing you need two cups of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of vinegar, and a quarter of a teaspoon of celery seed. You mix that together until the sugar is dissolved and put that in the refrigerator. And then the next day you mix it all together. Great. Simple. Yeah, we ready to. Yeah, let's bring it over here. Ready to, the to travel? Table. Okay. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I'll make sure that mine gets to everyone all the way around. Uh, it looks real hey, good. Hey, Bly. Huh? Uh, come here. Come here. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hair on my palms. <laughs> anyway. That's uh, real good, <laughs> Laban. I can hardly wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. It's plenty. Thank you. Thank you. That's <laughs> so pretty, though. It really is. Can I, may I help myself sure. to some of this? Oh, look at this and gorgeous presentation. I want to. I want to send a message. Oops! Right back to the, uh, <laughs> right back to the uh, control room right now. Ooh. Maureen, you can come right on out and have a big helping of this. Yeah. Here you go. I'll let you even try <laughs> some of your own. I've given Mr. Johnson some, and I'm going to try your home recipe, Peggy, and see what I think of it. Yeah, let me. Mm, mm, mm. It's creamy, it's good, it's delicious. Mm. I recommend this lady mm. come to your house and cook personally. <laughs> I'm going to try. Let's, let's gonna try, try that. Right. Well, I was going to try it and it got loose. I think it's that rutabaga, to be honest with you. Isn't that good? Mm. Mm. I like it. Delicious. Hey, the rutabaga doesn't hurt, folks. And now. And now, the piece of resistance. Good. Definitely different Bye. coleslaws. No, it is. It really oh, is. they're all it's, good. It's delightful. It really is. Woo! Peggy, thank you. You're welcome. We're going to give her a cookbook for being here. Aren't we great? Bye.